going everybody so i'm back in the video hope everyone's having a great day in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer your crypto to your bank account on the crypto.com application so i made this video about a year ago so um i decided to make an updated version just because a lot of people have been asking me to the process is very basically the exact same but the app looks a little bit different than it was a year ago so i decided to make an updated video so the first thing you guys want to do is open up your crypto.com app and what you want to do is go to your account section so you guys will notice i have about 196 dollars worth of ethereum so whatever crypto that you're basically trying to uh, transfer over to your bank account whether that's bitcoin the crypto.com coin solana finance whatever basically what we want to do first is set up the fiat wallet so um you will see the fiat wallet right here so we're going to tap on that option right there and you want to set up the new currency so what we're basically going to be doing is converting our crypto to our current currency so i live in canada so i'm going to stitch us uh, convert it to the canadian dollar if you're in the u.s you would uh, convert to the usd so we have to set up the currency first if you haven't already and then this should come up right here and basically you want to select your currency of your native country so i live in canada so i would uh, select the canadian dollar right here so i've already completed this process so this process can basically take a couple weeks for them to approve it so once you basically set it up um, you will have to wait a couple weeks or a couple of days for them basically to approve it and you will get that in your email uh, whatever is linked to your crypto.com application so for me i did this about a year ago and for me it took two weeks and i think about a week uh passed i decided to email them via live support they hit me up about a week and a half later um, so I waited a total about two weeks for them to approve it. So I don't know if they approved it once they got my email when I uh, contact, contacted them through live support. Uh, but the waiting times was, um, it's going to be kind of random just depending how the volume is. But for me, it was about two weeks. But if you guys do decide and you want to um, live chat them, you can do that by uh, going to the homepage right here. And then you'll see this little chat icon in the upper right hand corner. So we would just tap on that. And then from here, you guys can basically just ask them, can you approve my Fiat wallet? And hopefully they'll hit you up um, as soon as they can. So once you guys have set up your Fiat wallet, um, basically what you want to do now is convert your crypto to the Fiat wallet. So your currency, basically. So I would go into Ethereum right here. So some of you guys may have Bitcoin um, or Solana or whatever crypto. We would click on a transfer. And then what we want... So what you would do is click on sell ETH or whatever crypto you're currently trying to sell. And then make sure you're under the fiat wallet section, not the crypto wallet. So we would select this one right here. And then once your fiat wallet has been approved, you should get the option where you can deposit to the Canadian currency or whatever currency your country you're living in. So um, I'm going to convert this. So you can convert the amount you want. You don't have to convert the entire amount. Uh, but I will get to another step that you may have to convert a specific or a minimum amount um, to deposit into your bank account so i'm just going to do all of it and then there is no fee so we can go and confirm and then enter your passcode for your crypto.com app so this should happen right away afterwards and now we have zero eth now so we go back and we refresh our page you will see your fiat wallet should change to um basically what we sold from our eth so we would tap on it there you guys have it and then from here, what you want to do is click on transfer and then you want to click on withdraw and then obviously select your currency. So my would be Canadian dollar. And then from here, it's just basically going to give you some instructions or like what the steps are going to be. But basically, just click on withdraw now. Before we do that for Canada, the minimum to withdraw is $100. So um, it will change, obviously, depending on the country you're living in. So I believe U.S. is also 100 USD. Uh, but I don't know about other countries around the world, but um, you will have to know this. So if you're trying to um, transfer over 50 bucks, you will not be able to do that if you live in Canada. So we're going to click on withdraw now. And then basically from here, you're going to withdraw to your email. And then after that, we're going to be doing a we're going to create a security question. And then from there, you will have to wait a couple of days for them just to prove everything, make sure everything's correct. And then after that, you are going to be able uh, through that email to uh, transfer it over to your bank account via like an e-transfer or so. But uh, there you guys have it. That is how you basically transfer over crypto 
to your bank account very easy the only thing you will have to do is wait for them to approve your fiat wallet and then as well as this e-transfer or this withdrawal process but uh if you have any questions leave it down below in the comment section i'll be sure to help you guys out if you did enjoy this video drop a like on it it helps me out a ton hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video that's basically it and i'll see you guys in the next one